What's up, one swole generation? It's your boy, the one SG of fitness. We back with chest swole. The first exercise will be the incline press. We're doing heavy five sets of five reps with a rest period of one minute. The reason being is to keep intensity on that chest throughout the entire workout. Therefore, building the chest so big, you can see it from the back. The next exercise, bench press. All right, guys, now that we've done some of the heavy sets on the incline press, we're going to move on to this bench press. We're going to do three sets of 10 to 12 reps with a rest period of anywhere from 30 to 45 seconds. This will keep intensity and keep the muscle under tension, causing gains and growth. Remember, time under tension equals gains. The next exercise, machine flies. All right, we're moving on to the next exercise. We're doing three sets of 10 to 12 reps. You want to put a weight on here that can fatigue you somewhere between eight to 10 of those reps. Your rest period is 30 seconds. There again, we want to maintain the intensity throughout this entire workout. So you ain't got time to be talking and having conversation unless it's within that 30 seconds. I'll let you boy. Next exercise, dips. For the dips, I chose the hammer strength dip machine. Some of y'all sleeping on this uh, machine. This is a great builder of the chest and tricep area. Um, I chose three sets of 12 to 15 reps with a rest period of 30 seconds to maintain intensity throughout the workout. Therefore, promoting growth in my muscles. The next exercise, bench dips another great exercise to build those horseshoes on the back area of your arm for this one i chose three sets of 12 to 15 reps again rest period of 30 seconds that's to maintain intensity throughout the entire workout must i say it again to promote growth and gains that's what you're looking for the next exercise is the push up. Oh, 900. You made it to the last portion of this chest and tri building workout, the push up portion. I decided to do FS7, seven sets of 15 reps with a rest period of 30 seconds. Therefore, as I said before, keeping the muscle under conscious, constant tension, therefore, promoting growth. And I'm going to use a word that I don't usually use because I don't too much care about the word. I just know as long as you get some blood into the muscle, that's going to cause growth. But we're going to go on ahead and define it. Hyperfetry. Increase in both gross, mu gross muscle size as well as individual cell size resulting from training, especially weight training. All right. Remember, whenever you step into the gym, got to challenge your muscles. In order to cause some growth if you want to get that sexy muscular body that you've been looking for all right if you got any questions hit me up in the comment section i won't be afraid to answer you i won't i won't be afraid all right i hit you up but if you want to get some horseshoes and build a chest so big you can see it from the back this right here is a great uh foundation start a builder for chest and tries don't be afraid to try it out hit your boy up in the comment section and let me know how you like it oh yeah subscribe to my channel and we out holla